In today's video, we'll be going over momentum trading. We'll discuss what momentum trading is, the factors that affect momentum trading, advantages and disadvantages of momentum trading, associated chart patterns, and some indicators to help identify momentum trades. Momentum trading is a popular investment strategy that involves buying assets that have been performing well recently and selling assets that have been performing poorly. The idea behind momentum trading is that assets that have been trending up in price are likely to continue doing so, while assets that have been trending down are likely to continue that trend as well. Traders who use momentum trading strategies often look for assets with strong price momentum, meaning that the asset has been consistently rising in price over a period of time. They will then buy the asset with the hope of selling it for a profit when the price continues to rise. There are a number of factors that affect momentum trading. Market conditions, news and events, technical analysis, investor sentiment, and trading volume. For market conditions, the overall state of the market can have a significant impact on momentum trading. In a bullish market, where prices are generally rising, momentum traders have more success as there are more assets with strong price momentum. In a bearish market, where prices are generally falling, it can be more difficult for momentum traders to find assets with positive momentum. News and events, such as economic reports or company earnings announcements, can also impact momentum trading. Positive news can create strong price momentum for certain assets, while negative news can cause a decline in price momentum. Momentum traders often rely on technical analysis as well, which involves analyzing charts and other market data to identify trends and patterns. Technical analysis can help traders identify assets with strong price momentum and potential entry and exit points for trades. The sentiment of investors can also affect momentum trading. When investors are optimistic and willing to take on more risk, momentum trading can be more profitable as assets with strong price momentum are often in high demand. Conversely, when investors are pessimistic and risk averse, momentum trading can be more challenging as fewer assets may have positive price momentum. Finally, trading volume can also impact momentum trading. Assets with high trading volume are often more liquid, meaning that they can be bought and sold more easily, making them attractive to momentum traders who need to enter and exit positions quickly. Now we'll discuss some of the advantages with momentum trading. Potential for high returns. Momentum trading has the potential to generate high returns over a short period of time. When an asset is exhibiting strong price momentum, traders can potentially buy in at a lower price and sell at a higher price, generating a significant profit. Clear entry and exit points. Momentum trading relies on identifying trends and patterns in the market, which can provide clear entry and exit points for trades. This can make it easier for traders to manage risk and make informed decisions. Momentum trading can be used in a variety of different markets, this allows traders to diversify their portfolio and potentially capitalize on opportunities in different markets. Momentum trading is often used for short-term trading as it relies on identifying trends and patterns over a relatively short period of time. This can be beneficial for traders who prefer to make quick trades and avoid long-term investments. Now let's look at some of the disadvantages with momentum trading. Risk of sudden price reversals. When an asset is exhibiting strong price momentum, it can be tempting for traders to jump in and buy without considering potential risks. However, momentum can quickly reverse, leading to significant losses if traders are not careful. It can be difficult to time the market. Momentum trading relies on identifying trends and patterns in the market, which can be difficult to time correctly. Traders may enter or exit positions too early or too late leading to missed opportunities or losses. Relies heavily on technical analysis. Momentum trading relies heavily on technical analysis, which may not always accurately predict future price movements. Traders who rely too heavily on technical analysis may overlook other important factors that can affect the market. Can lead to overtrading. 
traders who rely on momentum trading may be tempted to overtrade, buying and selling assets frequently in an attempt to capitalize on short-term price movements. This can lead to higher transaction costs and increased risk. Here are some common chart patterns that are associated with momentum trading. Breakout patterns occur when an asset's price breaks through a key level of support or resistance. Traders often look for breakouts as a sign of strong momentum in the market. Continuation patterns occur when an asset's price pauses during an uptrend or downtrend before continuing in the same direction. These patterns can provide traders with potential entry and exit points. Flag and pennant patterns occur when an asset's price consolidates after a strong price move before continuing in the same direction. Traders often look for these patterns as a sign of strong momentum in the market. Head and shoulders patterns occur when an asset's price makes three peaks with the middle peak being the highest. Traders often look for this pattern as a sign that an uptrend is about to reverse. Cup and handle patterns occur when an asset's price forms a U-shaped followed by a small dip, forming a handle. Traders often look for this pattern as a sign of a potential bearish trend. Now we will look at a few indicators that are commonly used to help identify momentum in the market. Relative Strength Index, also known as RSI, is the momentum oscillator that measures the speed and change of price movements. Traders often look for overbought or oversold conditions on the RSI to identify potential entry and exit points. Moving averages are technical indicators that show the average price of an asset over a specified period of time. Traders often use moving averages to identify trends and potential trading opportunities. The MACD, or Moving Average Convergence Divergence, is a popular momentum indicator that shows the relationship between two moving averages. Traders often look for bullish or bearish crossovers on the MACD to identify potential entry and exit points. Bollinger Bands are technical indicators that measure volatility and identifies overbought or oversold conditions. Traders often use Bollinger Bands to identify potential entry and exit points. The Stochastic Oscillator is a momentum indicator that compares an asset's closing price to its price range over a specified period of time. Traders often look for bullish or bearish divergences on the Stochastic Oscillator to identify potential entry and exit points. Now let's take a look at how to apply some of these into the market. Here we are looking at the S&P mini chart on a daily time frame. Early February we started to form a range. We broke below it and then came up to retest it and then formed a pennant pattern. Dropping down into the four hour time frame, we can see the breakdown here, the retest, and then it started to form the pennant pattern. I've applied the moving average on this chart. And the area that I'm looking at is specifically this area when we broke out. And we can see the difference here with price going back and forth over the moving average compared to here where price, when it broke out, it never really came down below the moving average. So here we're taking a chart pattern along with an indicator to identify momentum trades and possible entries on that upward move. Moving down into an hourly time frame, we can see the highs here. It broke out, came to retest it, and that coincides with the moving average. And this is a nine moving average. Some other indicators that we can throw on here are the Bollinger Bands. And we'll remove the moving average for some clarity. And again, we can see that as this pennant was being formed, price traded to the upper portion of the Bollinger Band, down to the lower, and it was very range bound. A very large difference from what it was when it broke out of this 
trading mostly on the upper end of that Bollinger Band and never really crossing down below the median until after the breakout. I hope you enjoyed the video today on momentum trading. Optimus Flow is a free platform for Optimus customers. Please visit OptimusFutures.com for more information.